All right, Kristen. All right, so if you could give us a better idea of uh, what was going on with you or the top couple uh, problems that you came in with when you came to our office. Um, well, first and foremost was I was having seizures um, to the point where I was having one or more on a daily basis. Um, I was having migraine headaches that I had had for years and years. Um, and when I wasn't having a migraine, I just had what people would consider a basic standard headache literally all the time. Woke up with it, went to sleep with it, it never went away. Um, other than that, I was having a little bit of problem with uh, numbness and tingling in my uh, extremities, mostly on the right side, but I would wake up and it'd be so numb I couldn't get up out of bed and stand up on my own. Yeah, that's horrible. Um, well, give me a better idea of what had you done before you came into our office? Were you taking any medications, seeing other doctors? Um, yeah, I was on probably about 11 different medications at the time um, for everything from uh, allergies and nasal problems on up to anti-seizure medications, um, pain relievers for the headache, muscle relaxers, all kinds of you know fun stuff all jumbled up and thrown together in my stomach. And I was seeing neurologists, I was seeing orthopedists, I was seeing physical therapists, I was seeing obviously my regular MD who was sending me out to all of these people. So yeah, a lot of doctor's appointments, a lot of pills. Man, that's uh, definitely no way to live. Well, give me a better idea of uh, what it was like when you started coming in uh, receiving care and uh, started noticing results. Uh, how did things change for you? Um, well. Things actually changed really significantly, really fast for me. Um, there was definite improvement within the first week of treatment. Um, I started noticing that I did, wasn't having a daily headache. I would still get headaches, but I wasn't waking up and going to sleep with the same headache constantly. Um, stopped having seizures. Um, as to date now, I'm four days past my one year anniversary of having my last seizure. So I haven't had one since I started treatment, which was just absolutely awesome because one or more a day is hard to deal with. And um, I didn't I started noticing that I wasn't waking up numb and things like that. And as time progressed, I noticed, you know, the headache went away and it never came back. The seizures haven't come back. Um, I, have, I don't have numbness or tingling in any extremity unless I sit on it the wrong way and cut the blood supply off and, you know, that's average. People do that to themselves. Um, but it comes right back once the blood flow is restored. So, I mean, literally every problem I was having disappeared and other things in my life got better, like um, my sleep patterns, my digestion, um, emotional balance and mood swings. It just all improved. Everything improved. Excellent. Are you taking any medications anymore? Not a single one. I don't awesome. even take ibuprofen anymore. Great. Awesome. Are you, uh, are you working again or are, yes. you, are you able to drive now? Yeah, when I came in, I wasn't. I had been taken off of driving and told I wasn't allowed to drive because of the amount of seizures I had. I told I was told I wasn't allowed to work because of the seizures I was having, because um, it's just dangerous for the general public and my own personal safety. And I am back to driving. I'm back to working full time. I even managed to watch my grandson while I'm working, um, since I work from home. So very busy, very active lifestyle now, as opposed to before where it was all I could do to get out of bed in the mornings. Well, man, you've had some awesome changes. I'm super happy to hear that for you. Oh yeah, it's been fabulous. Yeah. Well, if there's anybody out there considering uh, maybe coming to our office uh, because they have a problem, is there anything you'd like to tell them? Um, just give it a try. The worst thing that can ever happen in life is something doesn't change for you, something doesn't make it better. Um, but nothing's going to change if you don't give it a chance. Give it a chance, start to take care of what you have, and stop listening to everybody who wants to just fill you up with pills to make the symptoms go away, but they don't want to fix the problems. You know, give it a chance, give your body a chance to fix its own problems. Awesome. Thank you for sharing, Kristen. No problem.